Hey, hey, hey everyone, welcome back to One Living Color TV. I'm your host, Alexis Monet. And before we get started, make sure you all hit that like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, everyone, so we all know Nicki Minaj has been very active. She did release a few singles this year, and she released her number one debut single, Super Freaky Girl, which has re entered the Billboard Top 100 charts. So, congratulations are in order to Nicki Minaj for that. People can say what they want about Super Freaky Girl and what type of song it is however the song has maintained and been stable on the billboard top 100 charts with her being 15 years into her career a lot of artists can't do that now with that being said we all know that nikki has been doing performances and recently she did perform at powerhouse now she did go to powerhouse in philadelphia as well as new york and both sets were great she looked amazing and the energy was good she was interacting with the crowd a lot and her fan engagement was there now even though it looked like nikki had a good time as well as her fans and she performed her biggest hits there were some haters calling nikki minaj super freaky grandma and talked about her spreading her legs on stage and were saying she's too old and dj academics was one of those people so take a listen you're 40. you got to get the dancing crew to roll on the ground to be popping it doing the splits legs wide open unfortunately nikki and again you still look great but i'm gonna keep it real with you and this is a reality of just female rap i know y'all don't like when i speak reality but i read a lot of comments and i'm speaking when i'm speaking like a fan i hate when they try to hold me to this oh you're in the industry you should be political no i'm speaking like a fan nikki your attempts at being sexy is being called grandma grandma nick real talk you dropped a song called super freaky girl i was having a great time watching people say that it was um what was it it, it was super uh, the song's called super freaky girl People were saying, it's super freaky grandma. Nikki, I don't think you're that old, but here's the thing, and this is what you haven't done. And if I'm you, I would, I, if I could give Nikki any advice, I would hope that she tries to use her remaining relevance to battle against ageism and to battle against people rejecting older females exploiting sexuality, because that's where it's at. I, I'll go to the comments. This is Shade Room. You know, Shade Room hate me. They love women. Every, look, everybody knows dancing is not Nikki's forte. Why was she stretching on the floor like that? I'm sorry, Nick. Nikki, it's always cringe watching her try to twerk or whine. I hate when she danced. Just rap is giving auntie vibes. These are the top comments. Look, it's giving super freaky. Oh, no. Let me check this out is giving super freaky grandma for real like she's too old for this it doesn't give sexy at all now in my opinion i don't think Nicki minaj is a super freaky grandma i don't think she looks bad for her age at all she will be 40 this year however she still looks great and in my personal opinion she looks way younger than a lot of the younger rap girls do nowadays she looks way younger. She looks like she's in her 20s versus those girls who are out now with so much plastic surgery and all the Botox and fillers that they do to their face. They're looking like they're at least 35, 40. And one thing that DJ Academic said that did stand out to me is him saying that he wants Nicki Minaj to change the narrative of people looking down upon female rappers as they get older and saying they're too old, they can't be sexy, and I think Nikki is changing that narrative now. A lot of people try to throw she's 40, she's too old, she's this, she's that. However, she's still breaking records that the younger girls can't break. She looks better than them. And her talent is way better than theirs will ever be. So I feel like on a daily basis, she does change the narrative. But you let me know how you feel about everything down below. Thanks again for joining me for another video. And until next time, bye.